Hey guys, this is Neo once again from The Overclocker. And today with me, I have my first results of Corsair's Vengeance RGB CU DIM kit. The first clock and buffer DRAM set from Corsair I've used and one which is over and above good looking has some decent overclocking headroom to it. Now, this isn't the first CU DIM kit I've covered. And if you want to know more about CU DIMs and all that good stuff, check out the interview I did with Intel's senior principal engineer where we talk about DRAM, CU DIMs and all other good stuff. So, what Corsair is offering here in their first outing with CU DIMMs under the Vengeance RGB brand, as with all things Corsair, is a premium kit. So, when we talk premium, what kind of price are we talking about? 350 US dollars in new egg. And if you're wondering about the price locally, well, I cannot tell you because we don't have a local listing for it. However, I'd be surprised if it's anything less than 8,000 Rand. Unlike other Vengeance RGB kits for DDR5 that we have right now, the CU DIMM series are in chrome and that looks amazing to be honest. Paired with the super bright LEDs, you have some seriously good looking memory. That being said, the undominated titanium levels of good looking and for one, I can't wait to see what Corsair is offering when that line of CU DIMM kits arrives eventually. But either way, what we have here is one of the best looking kits that you can find right now for CU DIMMs or at least coming from Corsair. And I believe this memory works in all kinds of builds, whether it's all black or all white. For all the great looks, however, because of the chrome finish of the heat sinks, these sticks are fingerprint magnets. So you'll have to use gloves when handling the memory so as to not smudge them like I did. Moreover, in as much as I can appreciate the shiny finish, it does scratch very easily and you can end up with minor scuffs and scratches. Moving on to the configuration, there isn't much here you're not expecting. The Vengeance RGB is naturally making use of Hynix 24 gigabit M ICs, which are known to have phenomenal overclocking capabilities. The PMIC is from RichTech, while the CKD provider is unknown or at least isn't picked up in the BIOS. How much of a difference the CKD model makes, I can't tell you. This Vengeance RGB CU DIM kit, besides being good looking and capable, is the first set of memory where I've successfully used the XMP 3.0 user profile feature on. If you're not aware, the XMP 3.0 has a total of five profiles officially, three for the vendor to write in the SPD and an additional two slots for end user profiles. While this isn't a new feature, getting it to work on other DRAM kits, motherboards and software combinations has proved to be anything but a simple process. Fortunately, on the ROG Maximus Z890 Apex and with IQ, you can use this feature and set your own DRAM profiles. However, this particular motherboard doesn't allow you to load user profiles for DRAM, which is rather curious for such a motherboard. For supporting motherboards, however, this is a great feature for this memory, as it's perfectly capable of overclocking to DDR5 8800 speeds, using the same default timings at just 1.45 volts. I tested the performance at XMP, DDR5 9000, and of course DDR5 9200, both at CL40. These speeds, however, were achieved at 1.5 volts and not 1.45 volts. And on that note, while CU DIMMs are all about high speeds and bandwidth, because we have to run these speeds using gear 4 and some super loose secondary and tertiary timings, the real sweet spot for CU DIMMs right now is DDR5 9000, which you can run in gear 2 mode, giving you the best of both worlds in terms of tighter timings and of course the higher frequencies provided by the clock and buffer DIMMs. And since we are already talking about overclocking and frequencies, we may as well get to the benchmark results. By the way, I redid the reference or standard DDR5-6400 CL32 memory results on the Intel Core 265K. And that's simply because the microcode and management engine updates Intel has been doling out since the platform launched, in particular the latest publicly available 117 code, have steadily improved the performance of the Core Ultra 200 CPUs. So base level performance has improved from my earlier tests, especially in gaming tests, by around 7% versus microcode 114 and earlier iterations. Testing was done on the Intel Core Ultra 7 265K as I said, cooled by the Corsair Titan RX 360 LCD AIO. The motherboard was the Asus ROG Maximus Z890 Apex using the 1603 BIOS. The GPU was the ROG Strix. GeForce RTX 4080, the PSU was the Corsair HX 1500i ATX 3.1 PSU and of course it was all housed inside the Corsair 6500X. You know what, I think I'll start with the gaming benchmarks from now on. So let's go with Hitman World of Assassination. Right off the bat, you can see what I was talking about earlier. 
Gear 2, a DDR5 9000 CL40, is the fastest setting by a sizable margin. In fact, these are the best results on this platform for me to date at these settings. Microcode updates and all. You'll notice as well that DDR5 9200 CL42 is faster than XMP, but it's not by as much as you'd expect given the transaction rate advantage over XMP. DDR5 9000 is where it's at clearly. We then have Forza Horizon 5, where results overall for the platform are the highest that recorded since launch at these settings. DDR5 9000 leads here as well, not by the same margins as in Hitman, but it's clear that it's vastly superior to any other setting here. 9200 is barely faster than XMP, honestly. In Marvel's Spider-Man, DDR5 9000 again proves to be the most impressive number. Comparing DDR5 6400 to 9000, there's quite a bit of a gap in performance. DDR5 9000 setting being 18 frames per second faster than 6400. Finally, we have Dragon Age the Veilguard. The leader is obvious here, but note as well how virtually indistinguishable 9200 is from XMP. Operating the system in gear 4 causes a performance penalty of note. So, what of the synthetics then? Well, in Super Pi 32M, you can actually see that XMP is faster than the OC 9200 setting, which was bound to happen at some point. However, when we switch to Benchmates 7 zip benchmark, the 9200 setting pips XMP by a small margin, while the DDR5 9000 setting has a significant advantage over 9200. From 6400 to 9000, there's a 10,000 point difference. In the V-Ray CPU render benchmark, we see that 9200 is just over 500 points superior to XMP, but DDR5 9000 doubles that advantage over 9200, overing a thousand points advantage. At this point, I think you have a general picture of how the various speeds stack up against each other. As I said previously, the best performance, at least where games and most general user apps are concerned for CU DIMMs right now, is frequencies that can be run at gear 2, which at present is 9000 and below. Alright then, you've seen the numbers and you know what you should expect from this DRAM kit should you decide to go this direction. More than the overclocking headroom however, and the performance that it gives you, the Vengeance RGB CU DIMM kit comes with some added benefits such as the easy means by which you can add your own DRAM profiles, add to which the set really is good looking, despite it being a fingerprint magnet as I said earlier, and the very fact that the heatsink scratch super easily. That aside, if you can find this kit at a reasonable price, you're obviously going to get a lot more from it than I did probably. The only reason that this memory doesn't stand out as the best Corsair DDR5 experience I've had thus far is because of the Dominator Titanium DDR5-6000 kit which I reviewed earlier which was truly exceptional. However, as is, this is the most capable CU DIMM kit I've tested to date. Either way, I've had fun with this Vengeance RGB CU DIMM memory. And should any of you be looking for high-end CU DIMM kits for your Z890 board, this should be an obvious starting place for you. With that said, let me know what you think in the comments below. And until the next time, please take great care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Take care and peace.